So I'm going to introduce our uh, each of our performers um, at one at a time. And the first one is Joseph Henderson. And I told Joseph I was not going to say the names of the pieces that he's performing because I can't pronounce them since I wasn't trained in classical music. So he's going to tell you what he is, is performing. But he has really been able to perform a variety of genres of music um, and not just in our area, but throughout the Southeastern United States. And he works with ensembles, obviously works solo. And this, this young man also enjoys writing music arrangements of his songs and performs with friends. So music is not only his gift in his life, it's something that he very generously shares with others. So Joseph, welcome. You are our first guest performer on the viola and I will let you uh, tell our guests what you are sharing with us tonight. Hey, thank you so much. Um, I'm happy to be here. I'm so, so glad for, um, being connected to you guys through uh, string theory music a few weeks ago. Um, so today I'm just gonna play a few little tunes from uh, actually a, a video game that's actually been remastered this past month. So it's, it's been kind of a big deal in the gaming community. So um, this first theme I'll play is uh, called, Cl called Cloud's Theme. Uh, he's the main character. He's kind of like a big shot kind of dude. Uh, he, he fights with a giant broadsword so his theme is a little bit more um stately than the other two you'll hear tonight so i'll go ahead and start with cloud's theme <laughs> So that was our first selection. Um, the next one here uh, is, I guess, uh, the main character's like best friend type of character. They uh, they were best friends when they were growing up, and then they got separated just because of life. And then uh, eventually they end up back together to fight for the the cause that they're working working for, and which would kind of drives through the. Um, the main plot of the story. They're basically fighting against this electric power company that's taking over uh, different segments of their, their hometown. So they're trying to put a stop to the tyranny. So this is uh, Tifa's theme. Thank you. 
you so much. And then for uh, the last selection for me today, um, I'll play Aerith's theme. Aerith is another, uh, a new friend of the main character. Uh, she is actually important to the story because she is uh, one of the last uh, characters like in the world of the, the world that the game play, takes place in. Uh, she's one of the last people who's able to use like really powerful uh, magic. So the the electric company who is the antagonist of the story, they're actually hunting her down throughout this uh, entire uh, plot line. So uh, she finds her new friends, Cloud and Tifa, who we've heard from just before. And together they work to put a stop to what is happening. So this is Aerith's theme. Beautiful. Wonderful. Beautiful. Joseph. 
Oh, Joseph, how fascinating that music has become such an integral part of the gaming world. It's great to know that's a way it's going to stay alive. And I, I had no idea. That is just wonderful. Thanks. Where did you study? Uh, so, Where so did you actually, learn? I'm studying at the University of North Florida right now. Oh, excellent. Did you go to Douglas Anderson for high school? I did, yeah. Oh, my, my daughter's I, I, a grad as well. I, oh, that's I thought awesome. maybe yeah, you yeah. had. Yeah. I, I, owe, awesome. I would say I owe like at least half of my um my training to Douglas Anderson and how, how they were able to push us so much. Yeah, and UNF has a wonderful program. Well, thank you for sharing your talents with us. It truly was a beautiful, beautiful concert. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's thank great you. to be here. Oh, it's wonderful. Thank you. Good to see another fellow DA alum as well. So um, our next performer, um, di different, different approach to music, um, Scott Horowitz. And I had a chance to meet Scott and talk with him. And he has a personal connection to our organization uh, through the care that we gave his father. But one of the things that I learned about Scott uh, and the reason I got to meet him is he just made it his uh, personal um, mission to raise funds and do a concert for his dad and in memory of his dad and to really try to reach out to people in his age group to let them know what hospice was and that it was there for them. And one of the things that impressed me the most about Scott um, beyond just his incredible talent that you will get to hear very shortly is he is constantly thinking about ways to not only help our hospice, but to help other people understand what hospice is, let them know that it's there for them. And his interest includes doing that on a national basis. So he is an advocate um, of the truest form I have ever seen, and then puts a lot of hard work behind the advocacy at, that he does. So Scott, you know I'm a huge fan of yours personally, and I'm so grateful that you'll be able to be here with us tonight to share your talent through this concert. So welcome. Sure, it's wonderful to be here. So you're up and you get to introduce your pieces. And I know you're, you do keyboards and uh, you're also a vocalist. Yeah, I'm, well, uh, yeah, vocal expressionist is probably the ah. most accurate way of I putting it. I have not heard but that yeah. term. Okay, great. Vocal <laughs> it's a term for bad singers. Is... <laughs> oh, that's me. Okay, but good, I'm, good. I'm sitting at you're a piano bad. here, so does this sound all right? Like you can hear my voice through the piano just fine? Yeah. Like at that volume? Or is this yeah. a little better? Well, let's, let's hear your voice over it. All right. Does this sound a little better than the one I just did before? I can hear you Either well. way is good, yeah. Either way, okay. Um, this is a song that a man named Richard Thompson wrote. Um, it's just a beautiful story and it's always touched me deeply. It's called Vincent Black Lightning, 1952. Um, though I changed the name of an Irish town to a town I'm more familiar with in there, but it's a song that Richard Thompson wrote and I like it a lot. It goes like this. Said Red Molly to James, that's a fine motorbike. A girl could feel special on any such life. Said James to Red Molly, well, my hat is off to you. It's Vincent Black Lightning, 1952. And I've seen you in the corners and the cafes, it seems. Red hair and black leather, my favorite color scheme. He pulled her on behind and down to Jacksonville they did ride. Said James to Red Molly, here's a ring for your ride. Dude. But I'll tell you in earnest, I'm a dangerous man. Well, I fought with the law since I was 17. And I robbed many a man to get my Vincent machine. Now I'm 21 years, I might make 22. 
I don't mind dying but for the love of you. And if fate should break my stride, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. Come down, Red Molly, cried Sergeant Cray, for they've taken young James away for armed robbery. A shotgun blast hit his chest, left nothing inside. Come down, Red Molly, to his dying bedside. When she got to the hospital, there wasn't much left. He was running out of road, running out of breath. He smiled to see her cry. He said, I'll give you my Vincent to ride. Said James, in my opinion, there's nothing in this world like a 52 Vincent and a red headed girl. No Nortons and Indians and Harleys won't do. They don't have a soul like a Vincent 52. He asked for her hand and gave her the key. Said, I don't have much further use for these. I see angels and aerials in leather and chrome swooping down from heaven to carry me home. He gave her one last kiss and died. And he gave her his fancy to ride. Last kiss and died, and he gave her his fancy ride. All right, thanks. Oop. And uh, this next song is a song that I wrote um, about my parents. And I wrote it for them on the uh, the morning of their last anniversary together. Just something struck me and happened. Um, and it's just sort of about their life together. And it's called The Ballad of Big Al and Cheryl. And it goes like this. <laughs> Chasing a cat out of the apartment door. Now I know what I was sent here for. Big old boy, eyes blue as the sky, telling me. One day I'll be his wife. Pretty lady, head resting on my chest. You know that's the time I love the best. And it doesn't matter where we go. In your arms, I'm at home, and all the things we've learned, you could never teach, and if I die tomorrow, scatter my ashes at Crescent Beach. Give them strength, I'll keep their hair looking good. Living the dream like I knew we would. Finally a place we can call our own. Yours is the face, my 
my dreams have shown. See the stars, I put them there one by one. Between dusk and dawn, I give you our only son. Seven stones swirling back around. Deliver me before the moon goes down. Yours is the love I'm living these last days for. Before I go back to the bottom of the ocean floor. No such thing as goodbye. Where I'm with you is just beyond the light. And all the things we've learned you could never teach. And if I die tomorrow, scatter my ashes at Crescent Beach. Thanks. And um, got one more song. It's another song that I wrote. It's called Time Untouched. Beyond the ending, but barely begun. Be with me inside songs unsung. Meet me in heaven, trees dripping moss. The band will be so grand. We won't talk. Asked for your name, heard an angelic tone. You asked for mine, I began to own. Oh, to feel the feeling I forgot. Our bodies reeling, forget you not. There ain't no hurry, there ain't no rush. I felt birth and death embedded inside your touch. If you need a lover, well, you know a few. And if you need the light, I'm shining for you. The space between our eyes holds a billion stars. Where we lay tonight is inside our hearts. That which flashes eventually rusts. Our love light is everlasting, time untouched. A love light eternal, time untouched. Thank you. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Wonderful. Great. I know. I, I, can't, I don't know how people write songs, and especially the one about your parents. I, I had seen uh, that performed before. What a, what a wonderful gift and how touching. You actually feel like you, you knew what they were about. And thank you for sharing your talent and your time with us and for all that you do to support us. Really do appreciate sure. it. Amazing. Now, our next performer, and Leo, I'm going to take a guess. Is it Erico or Erico? Erico. 
Erica. Erica, darn. See, I was pronouncing it like it was Italian, but I do very bad with my <laughs> Italian pronunciations. Leo has been a volunteer with us since 2015, and he visits our patients regularly to sing and play guitars and um, has really been so devoted to our mission and so faithful about visiting with people who are at the end of life and their families. And Leo, we, we thank you for all the generosity that we've received and for your willingness to also participate in this um, concert tonight. Thank you. Oh, it's my pleasure. Um, yeah, I was motivated to do this uh, oh, about 11 years ago. My wife passed away right there at Had Hadlow. Yeah. And, Hadlow Center, um, yeah. The center and one of the doctors there thought that playing my guitar for the patients as well as the, you know, the ladies that work there and the gentlemen uh, would help me. So this was a sort of a selfish thing initially, but then I found out that there's not, not only hospice, but there are dementia patients. Uh, there are patients that are in long-term care uh, that enjoy the songs that I select. So I've got three, three selections and I hope you guys enjoy them. I've been playing for a long time. I know they asked for a bio. Um, I've been playing since 1964, around that time. And um, so I've, I've been around the sun a few days, a few times. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel you. I see trees of green, red roses too. I see them bloom for me. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I see skies of blue and clouds of white, bright blessed days and those dark sacred nights. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world Oh, the colors of the rainbow So pretty in the sky Are also on the faces Of people passing by I see friends holding hands Saying, how do you do? They're really saying I hear babies cry, I watch them grow, they'll learn much more than I ever heard, and I think to myself, oh what a wonderful world, yes I say to myself, what a wonderful world. Oh, yeah. It must have been cold there in my shadow. To never have sunlight. You were content to let me shine. You always want a step behind. So I was the one with all the glory. You were the one with all the strength. A beautiful face. Without a name, a beautiful smile to hide the pain. Did you ever know that you're mine? For everything I wish I could be, I could be nothing without you, dear. You were the wind beneath my feet. 
Ehre dir für du und du bist. And I have it here inside my heart. I know the truth, yes I do. I would be nothing without you. Did you ever know that you're my hero? Everything I wish I could be. I can fly higher than an eagle. You are the wind beneath me. You are the wind beneath me. You are the wind beneath me. And my last song is um, something that you may be familiar with. When somebody loves you, it's no good unless she loves you. All the way, happy to be near you when you need someone to cheer you. Come what may, taller than the tallest tree is, that's how it's got to feel, and deeper than the deep blue sea is, that's how deep it goes when it's real. And when somebody needs you, it's no good unless she needs you. All the way, through the good and lean years, and for all those in between years, come what may, oh, who knows where the road will lead us. Only a fool will say, but if you let me love you, it's for sure I'm gonna love you all the way. Thank you for listening. You're, you're welcome. Uh, Leah, how wonderful. You know, I, I saw some of the uh, messages coming up as you were playing that you picked favorite songs of so many of us. And the Louis Armstrong song especially is just so, yeah, so meaningful. Yes, it, it really is. is. Well, and it reminds us of, of how life is beautiful no matter where it is and what it is. So thank you for that message and, and for the, the healing power of music. I, I, I think you're, you're playing oh, it, demonstrating. It, it is, it is. I, I, I personally experienced it. I play at Mayo also at the hospital mm -hmm. and I can, I have personal experience with people. Wow. Well, I was playing for one lady. She was about to go in for an operation and I didn't know that. I thought she was waiting for somebody to come back out of surgery. But the nurse came over, and I've been sitting right next to her performing, you know, playing a song. And the nurse came over and said, are you ready to go? And it turned out she was the patient. Wow. And she turned to the nurse, she said, can he come in with me? <laughs> 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 so I, I, I realized at that point that the, the music has, uh, has yeah. a nice effect. It's, it's yeah. powerful. It's powerful. Yeah. And thank, thank you for sharing your talent so and, and being so devoted to this, Leo. Thank yes. you. And for, for our, the last part of our concert, um, it's my pleasure to introduce you to Carrie Bartwick, who is um, a music therapist for Community Hospice. She's actually one of our staff members. And with her tonight is Randy uh, Behan. And I hope I said that right. Is it Behan? <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got it. Okay, good. So, 
I hate, I hate to be the person that relates people's names, who is an intern for music therapy. And Carrie's going to tell you a little bit about our music therapy program, and then Randy's going to share a story. But these, these young women are, again, could have used their talents in any way, but have really brought them to be a force for helping people um, feel healing and peace and comfort and support at very difficult times. So thank both of you. And, and Carrie, I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, thank you, Susan. Um, well, as, you, as has been said, music is so healing. Um, and thanks to our music volunteers, particularly you all on this concert, but also all of our music um, volunteers, because music in itself is therapeutic. And then um, music therapy is taking that therapeutic aspect of music and putting it in a clinical um, direct way. Um, so we collaborate with team members, um, the nurses, the social workers. Um, they um, identify which patients um, have a special connection with music, what patients have a clinical symptom that music could really help um, their care with, be it anxiety or depression or for pain management. Um, and the list goes on and on. Um, and then we receive those referrals from um, social workers and go out and we assess them. So we assess um, how they're responding to the music, how they've used music before in their life, and what we can do musically um, to help them in their, their care plan, um, which is then also a collaboration with the team members um, as well. Uh, so the music therapy program has started in 2014, um, and I came here in 2016. Randy here joined us um, in the very end of March. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so she's seen a lot of virtual visits, um, but we are available, music therapy is available um, to those people on our home care teams, um, traditionally on the long-term care teams. Um, and we can't wait until we can get back um, in the long-term care units as well. Um, and also available to our inpatient units um, too. So wherever our patients are in community hospice, music therapy um, is available um, to them um, to be referred to music therapy. Um, and then also we um, get to participate in the, the PEDS care program too our pediatric um, palliative care. So music therapy has, since 2014, has really grown um, to really all of community hospice, pretty much. Um, so let's see, look at time here. So um, I would, I'll go through music therapy just briefly and, and talk about um, some of the ways that we have touched our patients' lives, um, both from a clinical aspect and also just from a, a healing um, aspect too, um, to kind of give you, the, that's the best way to learn about music therapy. We can talk clinically all day, but it really comes down to the stories that really shines a light on um, what music does and what music therapists do too. Um, so I was gonna share with you um, a story about how music therapy is also for the caregivers too, and not just the patients um, themselves. Um, so I was referred um, to a patient um, for restlessness. And so I went and, and um, music really helped calm down the patient. But who benefited the most from it was her daughter who was, had flown into town um, to visit with the patient. And she herself, I saw her pacing out in front of the yard when I, when I pulled up. She was just having so much anxiety um, about the situation and, and she, had missed her mom for so long she was finally able to see her again and um, she was just really kind of struggling with with what she, um, she was seeing um, and so we went back in and she was able to share with me you know about her journey to see her mother and just unload everything and I was able to support her with music and just to see that anxiety of all the travel and how her mom had changed just melt away and she just gave in to music and we played some of her mother's favorite songs and her mother who um, had fallen asleep you know she had woke up again and um, started listening to us and smiling at us and it would just it turned the whole situation around um, so it's 
such a good uh, support system for family and patients, um, as well as we help them walk this journey um, through music. Um, and so another good example of um, what music therapy does, um, I was referred to this patient. Um, it was actually a routine visit, but um, she often was struggling with pain. Um, so I came in this day, it was just really bad acute pain and um, the doctor was on his way to go see her. But um, we were, I was there in the meantime um, and she agreed to have the visit. Her family thought it might be too much. Um, but she's like, no, no, I need this. And so we went in and um, we went into the room and um, she was able to sing. She usually sings with me, but this time it was a totally different um, experience. She was belting from her soul. You could just hear her release the pain as she sang through her voice. It was almost like glorious, like, yes, I can overcome this. And so we sang her songs, the same songs we had sung many times before, but this time it was different. And you could really hear her just be able to release all the pain she was feeling through her voice. And you could tell she felt just victorious over it. She started smiling and her family grabbed the camera. They wanted to, they were like, wow, she's never sounded like this before. And they grabbed the camera. And so it turned um, what was a very tense moment, a painful moment for her and intense for the family into this, um, really this family gathering where they were all able to get around the bedside and sing. And not only was her pain more controlled through just being able to release it through her voice, but also it was such a great moment for, to bring the family together and just turn it completely, just completely change the um, perspective. Um, so that's the magic of music therapy. Not only are we doing clinical things, but we're also doing very heartfelt things, things that make these lasting memories where, you know, they might be going through a hard time, but there's that spotlight. It's like, well, remember that time when, and to give them, you know, these precious moments during such a hard time. Um, so that's, that's always been a story with me that echoes um, about the power of music therapy. Um, and then Randy here, just a little background on, on Randy. Um, do you want to sit, talk about where you've gone to school and maybe why you chose community hospice? And Sure. So uh, I am originally from New Mexico. Uh, I went to school at Eastern New Mexico University and I studied music education and performance there. I uh, graduated and then moved out here to Orlando to do D the Disney College program and fell in love with Disney and ended up staying with Disney for about six years. Um, still do work there. They're obviously closed right now due to the pandemic. Uh, but I, somewhere along the line, I decided I wanted to go back to school for music therapy. And so I went to an equivalency program at St. Mary's College of the Woods in Indiana. Uh, and they have a really great online program. And I actually did my practicum here at Community Hospice with Carrie in 2017 and had a really incredible experience here uh, that made me decide that I really wanted to go into hospice. And just a really quick story of what really changed my mind and made me really focused on hospice. We were visiting a patient at one of the long-term care facilities and she had dementia and um, she, she could communicate, but she, she had a really hard time finishing a sentence or a thought. Uh, but she used to sing opera when she was younger. And I also studied classical singing. So one day I just went in and decided to sing something classical to her that was familiar. Um, and she, when I was done singing, instead of just talking to her, I sang to her. I spoke sang. So I was speaking in a sentence, but I was singing operatically to her. And she was able to respond to me and in a complete sentence and thought in an operatic voice singing without any sort of hesitation. And it kind of just opened up a whole new world because she music activates such a different part of your brain that she was able to completely communicate and you could see the relief in her and able in being able to communicate the needs because we finally understood like oh this is how she can communicate this is this is a great way so i think it was in that moment that i really 
realized that it was more than just going and singing to people. It was really the clinical effect that it has, you know, in all aspects of the patients and the family's lives. And so since then, I stayed in touch with Carrie and I applied for the internship and I'm really excited to be here for the next couple months. We're excited <laughs> to have you. Yes. <laughs> so, um, so the music therapy program, it continues to, to thrive. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Um, well, I could talk all night really about, <laughs> and I'm sure a lot of our volunteers could too, about the power of music and especially how it um, resonates with all of us, um, particularly our, pa our patients. Um, but instead, I decided to write a song um, about all the things that music can do. Um, can you see? Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, thank you, Randy. Oh, <laughs> <your way. laughs> so um, this, is, this is the piece um, that I've, I've chosen to share with you all tonight. Um, it's called Music Can, and it'll uh, sum up what I would take two hours to try to say. <laughs> <laughs> For me, music is hard to define Besides the basics of melody and time Can't say why it's true That's up to point of view I can only say what I've seen music do Cause music can keep the party rocking when all we want is fun and provide a means to include everyone and light the spark of love to grow and prompt with help tears to flow and relieve the glory days of long ago. Music can break monotony of the tired routine and tame the chaos to a place serene and steer our emotional maze, whatever come what may, and express it all through many countless ways. Cause it's the urge to move our feet It's the rhythm of heartbeat And our ears heed to his call It's the sound our spirit seeks It's the language we all speak It truly connects us all Music can soothe one to sleep in the endless night and raise confidence to a brand new height and free a voice once thought is gone and keep the memories lingering on and sing our praises at a new day's dawn. To sum it up, there could be more said. Music can capture what's left unsaid. As it will accompany us on this path we tread. And keep the longing in our souls fed. Keep the longing in our souls fed. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, one of my um, patients um, that um, really uh, touched my heart, she would always tell me, music is food for the soul. So that song um, was inspired by her statement where she would she would tell me every time, music is food for the soul. Um, but I'm going to pass, pass the torch on to Randy, who's also going to share a song. Would you like Sure. So uh, the song is called Dream. It is by Priscilla Ahn, and it is one of my favorite songs. And I think 
the lyrics are just so fitting for hospice. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> right. I was a little girl alone in my little world who dreamed of a little home for me. I played pretend between the trees and fed my house got sparking leaves and laughed in my pretty bed of green. I had a dream that I could fly from the highest swing. I had a dream. Long walks in the dark through woods grown behind the park. I ask God who I'm supposed to be. The stars smiled down on me. God answered in silent reverie. I said a prayer and fell asleep. I had a dream that I could fly from the highest swing, I had a dream. Ooh. 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 Now I'm old and feeling gray. I don't know what's left to say about this life I'm willing to lead. I've lived it full and I've lived it well. There's many tales I've lived to tell. I'm ready now. I'm ready now. I'm ready now to dream. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, and I think we have one more. We have one more song that we both would like to sing together for you all. That's our closer. Yeah, can you can see it there. Yeah, okay. okay. We'll stop that. okay. It's called um, Willing Heart. <laughs> okay. Can you see it? Yes. Okay. We're gonna need an anchor, someone to call me home. Gonna need somebody to leave the porch light on. If I ever get lost out there on my own, gonna need an anchor, someone to call me home. If all our dreams are just wishes, if every wish needs a star, all an ending really needs is a brand new beginning. All love needs is a willing heart. All love needs is a willing heart. I'm gonna open up my own wings, the ones you've helped me make, the ones that you promised. No one could ever take away Cause you made them out of your love They're the kind that never break I'm gonna open up my own wings The ones you'd help me make If all our dreams are just wishes If every wish needs a star if all an ending really needs is a brand new beginning, 
All love needs is a willing heart. All love needs is a willing heart. I'm gonna need an anchor. I'm gonna need wings. Gonna need a willing heart to chase on all these dreams. Gonna need understanding. It's hard to understand, but I'm gonna need your love no matter where I am. Well, thank Beautiful. you, everyone. Thanks for listening. Beautiful. Oh, thank, thank you, you guys. <laughs> and, and thank you for sharing the stories of the patients and the families that that always has to be where our minds and energies are focused so thank you for reminding us of that we really appreciate it and thank all of you for joining us for this concert tonight and for all of our performers and volunteers for being willing to share your time and your talent one of the things that many people don't realize until they actually have a, a clinical experience with community hospice or get involved in some other way is that our organization doesn't do just what is required by Medicare to provide hospice care. We also know that there are many what we call complementary therapies like music therapy, child life therapy, aromatherapy, massage therapy, and you want to see people light up, see the pet therapy that happens. And all of those complementary therapies are really something we feel is important to invest in, even though Medicare does not require hospices to provide them, because we know that beyond our, our pharmacy skills, our clinical skills, that these therapies really do make a difference to so many of our patients and families. And as I said at the beginning, meet that goal of helping people live better with advanced illness. And I emphasize live because we are all focused on life and making sure that we bring quality to it, no matter how many days or hours might be left for someone. So the foundation works very tirelessly to raise the funds to support these programs. And I hope that you'll, you'll number one, continue to volunteer with us and tell people about the fact that we offer these complementary therapies and support the foundation in its effort to make sure that we can offer all of these very special and very important extra therapies to our patients and families as they walk through this journey um, at the end of life with us. And thank you all for being part of our work. Uh, this, this was something I had on my Outlook calendar. Okay, my last thing to do for the day. And I will tell you, I don't feel the slightest bit tired now that it's done. Uh, it definitely gave me a lot of energy and a lift. And I hope you all felt the same way. So thank you again and have a wonderful rest of your evening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Amy.